Welcome back guys to Kids Coding Playground here. Today we'll be doing a scrolling Sonic game in Scratch. So the point of the game is the longer you survive, the more points you'll get. And then you use the up arrow keys to jump over obstacles and try to dodge obstacles. And then you can use the down arrow key to duck under obstacles. So before we start on our project, I'd like to give a few shout outs to people that requested for a Sonic game. So here on our channel, you can see a lot of people um, well, some people have suggested us to make a Sonic game, so this person suggested us to get the sprites. I'm pretty sure we used this website to get the Sonic sprites. We'll also put the Google Drive in our comments or the description below so you guys can download your sprites or you can export it straight from our video. So yeah, as you can see, we have quite a few comments um, of Sonic the Hedgehog games. So without further ado, let's start on our project. So let's first demonstrate the game. So I'm going to go full screen. So basically you're running, you can jump over the obstacles, you see that gear right there, you have to jump over it. When you roll, when you press the down arrow key, you roll, and jump over that. There, in bullet bill, you can use a duck under, as you can see I hit the gear so it died, so I had to restart. You duck under the bullet bill, and if you hit the rings you get 500 points. Like in Sonic, you know how he collects rings, you get points for that. Yeah, so it's pretty much it, pretty simple. Um, so it's kind of a simple runner game. All right, so now let's start on our project by clicking the new button. Okay, so next we are going to get onto our game. So let's delete our scratch cat. Let's go into our backpack. I backpack a few sprites. So we have the Sonic sprite. We have the scrolling backgrounds, one and two, and we used the Scratch tutorial from the Scratch Team channel to make the scrolling backdrop, so huge thanks to them for showing us how to do it. It's really simple, I can show you guys here as well. And then we have the traps. We have three costumes for the traps, the saw, spike head, and the spikes. Um, we drew the spikes, but these are from, we got these from some website. And then right here we have Bullet Bill for Mario, we just decided to put him in anyways. So yeah, there he is. And then we have the rings, and inside the rings we also have hearts. Because the heart is also from scratch, we just put a heart because it's almost Valentine's Day, so we just decided to put it in there as well. If you collect it, it also gives you 500 points. Okay, so now we have all our sprites, so let's get onto our backdrop. So we'll just draw a really simple backdrop, so like we're going to get a light blue color, I guess. Like that color, no outline, and just draw a rectangle. Well, maybe this needs to be a little bit light, like this maybe, yeah. Maybe a little darker, actually. Um, there we go. Is that, nah, it's too... Maybe like this, yeah. That's a pretty good color. Maybe actually a little lighter, because that now it looks kind of dark. There you go. That's better. Uh, and we drew a sun in the top right corner, so let's get a circle tool. Remember, just hold a shift if you want a perfect circle. So we're going to get the yellows color that yellow hold down shift and boom you got a perfect circle put that in the top right corner and there we have it we have our backdrop really simple to make and then here in our sonic sprite we have a ton of costumes and here are all the ducking costumes like the rolling we won't be using this one but we'll be using these four and this is the running animation so that's our sonic sprite okay so inside our scrolling backdrop, I'll show you guys how to draw it and stuff. So basically, what we did right here is we drew a rectangle green, and then we used the reshape tool to reshape it to look like mountains. And then these trees is from the a sprite library, and here we have just a green strip as the grass, I guess. And then rocks are really easy to make. I'll demonstrate how to make one. So basically, just get the circle tool, draw a kind of oval-shaped, kind of like an egg shape, use the reshape tool, and then move this up a little bit, and boom, you got yourself a simple rock. Really easy to make. So that's how you make a rock. And then right here, we have more. So we just made two costumes for the first sprite and two for the second sprite. So what we're going to do is make the next costume so that it alternates, so there's more variety to the background. So we have two right here, and then right here we have another two. And then right here we have a little pond. All we did is just get some green patch and just drew an oval. So yeah, here's our second costume and you always want to make these guys like kind of like touching the edge because you want it to be smooth 
So, as you can see, make them kind of like similar in the same position. So then it'll be kind of smooth when you're doing the scrolling background. So there's like no empty spaces in here, so it's all filled up. Okay, so now let's hop into our Sonic Sprite. And first, we need to make him go to the front layer, because like you see, he's in the back. So we're going to get a one green flag clicked. Zoom in a little. Go to front layer. Gonna go to the front. And then we're going to broadcast a message named reset. We'll need this later, so first let's broadcast a message. Oops. Broadcast message, we're gonna name it reset. And then next, we are going to see, let's make it go to the front. Okay, and then when I receive reset, when you receive the message reset, we are going to make a new variable. We're gonna name it score. So, score for all sprites, that's fine. So, we're gonna set the score to zero in the beginning, and then we're gonna go to its position. So, the position right here I have is negative 150, negative 85. So, it's kind of near the bottom left of the screen. So, it's a pretty good position I guess so you can do that and then next we're going to define a block so this is simulating the gravity so then Sonic will jump up and he'll come down he'll come back right back down so we're gonna make a new block so we're gonna name it simulate gravity simulate gravity and then we're gonna run the screen without refresh um, this is optional but since like we don't have the animations inside our simulate gravity block this is not necessary but what it does is just make Sonic run smoother so then the game will act a little smoother so you can do this run the screen that refresh so we have our simulate gravity block we are going to get an if else statement so if else so if the up arrow key is pressed if key up is pressed you can also do w or whatever key you want and then we're going to switch the costume to jump so the first costume to jump is this one, let me find it. Right here, sorry, my bad. Uh, it's all the way at the bottom. Jump. So it's kind of like a jumping animation. And then we have another if else statement. So we're going to put it inside the first if then area. So this part is to simulate the gravity. So basically, you know how his y position is negative 85. So we're going to make sure if it's equal. So if the y position is equal to negative 85, y position equals to negative 85, we are going to set the fall speed, which is a new variable. So basically, if it's at 85, we will negative 85, we will allow Sonic to jump up. But if it's not, like let's say it's in, in the air, then we'll make it fall right back down by making it minus one. So we're gonna make a new fall speed, a uh, new variable. We're gonna make fall speed, fall speed for all sprites. So here with our fall speed, we're going to set it. We're going to set fall speed to fall speed plus 16. So if it's right here, if it's on negative 85 Y position, we will allow the player to jump. So we're going to get the plus. So we're going to get the fall speed plus 16. Fall speed plus 16. And then next, if it's in the air else, then we're going to set the fall speed to fall speed minus one. So it's going to come back down. Fall speed minus one. So down here, we're also going to do a set fall speed minus one, because if you were to jump, Sonic would get stuck if you don't have an extra one down here. So you always want to make sure Sonic is coming right back down. Okay. And then this is just defining the variables. This is not actually going to make it fall back down and allow it to jump. So we're going to have to do change Y. So we're going to change the Y by full speed down here. Full speed. And and then we're gonna get if then statement if uh, y position is less than negative eighty five. So sometimes you know, um, like when you're doing a platform or something, they can like fall through the platform and stuff like that. So we don't want that to happen. So we're gonna make it. We're gonna push him right back up if he somehow falls under negative eighty five. So we're going to do a if y position is less than y position is less than negative eighty five. So if it's less than that. Then we're going to set his uh, y position back to negative 85. So he'll get pushed back up. And we're going to set the fall speed to zero so he won't fall anymore when he's on the platform. So then next, we're going to get an if then statement. One more. If it's touching the trap or bullet bill, so this is for later. But like, let's say it's touching the trap or bullet bill. Touching trap. 
or bullet bill, which are the enemies, then it will broadcast reset. Right, so here we have our simulate gravity. So, of course, it won't work unless if we define the, um, if we call the function, so we're going to have to call it. So up here inside the reset block, you're going to get a forever loop, and then we're going to simulate gravity. Okay, so now we can save the project, and I'll show you guys. So now when you jump, you see it, it jumps. Yeah, so well, there's no animation yet. So when you click the up arrow, it jumps, and it won't fall under. So you can see, so the jumping mechanic is working. It's jumping up, and then right back down. So I'll show you guys, if you take out this part, what will happen. So let's take it out. Jump, see, it'll just get stuck to the top, so it is mandatory to put this part in. So there you go. So now we have the jumping mechanic done. We can work on the walk animation and the ducking animation. So let's zoom in again. Let's re uh, broadcast or re receive the message reset again. So we're gonna, when I receive the message reset, this is we're gonna do the walking animation now. So forever. If okay, so we're gonna get an if then statement. So if not up arrow or down arrow key. So basically, if neither arrow key is being pressed, then we are going to allow Sonic to be able to walk. So we're gonna do not so if it's not up or down so not up arrow key key up arrow or down arrow then we are going to next costume and then we're going to if then statement if if it's greater than um the costume number is greater than eight so here you see we have eight costumes for the running so you see we have the ducking animation right here. So basically, um, the, we have eight, which is running, and then a few that are ducking, and then one for jumping. So basically, if it's greater than eight, which is the walking animation, then we're gonna set the uh, walk animation back to the first one. So then it won't go to the next ducking animation. So we're gonna go if costume number is greater than eight, greater than eight, then we're going to set the walk animation back to the first one, switch costume back to run one, and then we're going to wait 0 0.05 seconds uh, right here, just so it looks a little better. So it won't look like it's lagging, so it looks a little bit better when you do that. So let's play our project. So you can see, Sonic is able to walk. See the walk animation? When you jump, see that? Yeah, so we got a simple walk animation. And next, let's do the ducking animation. So over here we have the walk, and down here we'll do the duck. So when I receive the reset uh, message, then we're going to get a forever loop. And then if, we're going to if then statement. So if the uh, down arrow key is pressed, key down is pressed, down arrow, then we're going to start a sound. So let's get the sound. I think I have it. Yeah, toysing right here. See that? So we're going to get the toysing. Start the sound toising, and then we're going to switch the costume to duck one. So when you press down, we'll switch the costume right here, so it starts right here for the first ducking costume. Uh huh. Okay. So next we're going to repeat three times. Repeat three times, and then we're going to wait 0 0.05 seconds. So it looks a little bit better, and then we're going to next costume. Next costume. So basically, we're just going to make it switch costume to this. We're not repeating four times, even though there's four costumes, because we're starting on this one. So it's going to repeat three times, and then go back to here, repeat three times, go back to here. So it just keeps on going until the player lets go of the down arrow key. So here we have all of our code for our Sonic. So let me just move it all down so it looks a little bit better. Okay, so there we have it. So if you have anything with it, if you have anything that you want to add to it that you didn't add before, that you, you should add it now. Give me some. Okay, and then next, uh, we can make the score thing. So we can make it like gain score as you keep on going. So we're going to forever change score by one. Change the score by one. So this is one of those games where like the longer you survive, the more score you get. 
So the background isn't scrolling yet, so it doesn't really look like anything yet. Uh, so you jump, you duck. See that? Yeah, so you can roll, yeah. So there, we have all the walking, jumping, and ducking animation for Sonic. So that's it for our first part of the series. So this is the first part for the Sonic uh, scrolling game. So in the next part, we're going to be working on the scrolling background, traps, and uh, the rings. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned uh, for the next video. We'll probably release this shortly after this one gets released. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.